Hi everyone, this is Ron Kreider. I've gotten a lot of requests for people asking me about this Lucy Live Lite. So today <clears throat> I'm going to uh, take you to Lucy Live Lite. I have it on this computer. This happens to be a Mac computer. It will work either on a Mac or it will work on a regular uh, PC. So let me go to get Lucy Live Light, and you'll see this indicator. Remember, it's the yellow one. It is not the uh, kind of more brownish orange one because that's uh, Lucy Live. That it costs considerably more money, and it you really don't need it unless you need to do something in stereo. So uh, I've downloaded this Lucy Live Light. I'm going to click it on and bring it up. The demo version will work fine. Each 20 seconds, you'll hear a one-second silence mode going, so it's not really very good for broadcasting until you pay for it. It costs about $35. You can get it from the App Store if you're getting it from um, Apple. Otherwise, you can purchase it online. Now, first thing you need to do when you get in there is look at the top of your screen, Lucy Live Lite, where it says Tools. Go to Tools. Select the station. You're going to have to enter in your radio station. So let's do this. Let's hit the plus sign here. That's going to let you put your radio station in here. And we're going to call it uh, Comrex. Comrex. No, M R E X. Test. I've already, I already have it in there. So I'm just going to put this one as test. This stays the same. RTP destination is this address. 70.22.155.132. This is G722. This stays the same. 4800. Now, if your computer doesn't have it in like this, you may have to change it. But th it should look just like this. Hit OK. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use the other one that I put in. Uh, the, let me go back here one more time. Select the station. And I'm going to use the one that says uh, Lucy. And that will show up, as you can see, in the screen of it. And then hit Done, and that's where it is. One more thing you need to do up here, go to Tools, and go to Input Output, and make sure you select the microphone you're using. I'm using a AT2020 USB mic, so you want to select that, and that will make sure that everything's going to work over here. Now, you're not going to see anything on your screen. None of these controls are going to work until you actually connect. Now, we're connected. Once we're connected, you'll be able to see me talking down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll see me talking up here, actually, on the output. I apologize for that. And on the bottom, you'll see the music that they're sending us. And um, you'll also see over here a little green light. If the green light's not on, it is not going to work. I'm going to disconnect. And I'm going to go back to Tools, and I'm going to try to select the station. And I'm going to select the station that I know will not work, and I'm going to say Done, punch the button, and there it is. You, it, it, it's not really working. Although it's connected to my access unit here, there's no green light. Therefore, it is not working properly because you're also not receiving anything. So always remember, you have to have the green light. If you don't have the green light, it's not going to work. Back and select the station. Select this one. Now, it doesn't mean when you go to, uh, here we go one more time. Now you see the green lights on. Uh, you can see me talking in here. The other thing that you need to remember is that this represents your the volume control in your headphones. Uh, if you plug those into your computer. This represents the volume control for your microphone, which is this uh, upper control, the upper meter here that says out. Out is really the output, what you're sending out to uh, the, the people you're connected to. It's not what you're getting in. Bottom is what you're getting in. If you plug your earphones into your computer and hit microphone, such as I'm, I'm doing right now, you're going to hear yourself again, but you'll hear yourself in your ears. And that's a good thing. Normally, you'll keep it like this, but if you want to hear yourself and what they're sending you, then you'll hit, hit this, this button, button and, and you'll get it exactly it. like that. And that's all there is to it. It costs $35. It's used by every major network in the world. It works extremely well. 
it's best that it be tethered. It's best that you're connected to the internet uh, directly with a, some sort of an ethernet cable. That would be, that would make it work really the best. Uh, but it's very reliable. It is f bulletproof. The good news is it only costs about $35. The bad news is the thing it connects to at the other end, in our case, which is an, a Comrex access unit, that costs about $2,500. So the studio end is most expensive. Uh, that's it. That's Lucy Live Light. I s strongly recommend that you use it for all of your remotes because they really sound good and it's really easy to use. Have a great day. If you have any questions, give me a call.